conservatives are on the attack again. This time they're trying to convince Minnesotans to vote against their local school levies. We've constructed this block tower to represent the average school district's funding. Conservatives would have you believe that this is sturdy, bolstered by a $488 windfall per pupil from the latest legislative session. Look closely from the school's perspective at all the funding gaps. In many schools, teachers, administrators, and support staff are getting creative, working harder than ever to maintain quality in a time of shrinking state funding. According to the Minnesota Department of Education, in 2013, schools will have 13% less money per pupil after adjusting for inflation than they did a decade earlier. Let's get back to conservatives' $488 per pupil increase that they say is coming to you. About 135 of those dollars are in pre-existing local levies, the same ones that they're asking you to vote down right now. That's not new money from the state. That's coming from your community. Now. 260 of those $488 are in automatic increases from the feds in the state meant to cover special education and other areas. They're not new money, they're not from the most recent legislative session, and though they're meant to cover cost of living increases, they aren't even enough to do that. In actuality, the legislature only approved $50 per student per year in new payments, which conservatives count as $100. However, superintendents tell us that's only going to go to cover the borrowing costs of delayed state payments. Doesn't seem like that much of a windfall to me.